question from our recent past, which is why do our heads not face north when we're lying down? It's like the monkeys. It's been staying on, staying on my heads. So you accept the evolutionary process the way it is. So why shouldn't you put your head to the north? Suppose, uh, you know there's a north pole and a south pole. This means these are the magnetic centers. And you also know the whole land masses, whole continents have been slowly being pulled towards the north. They've been traveling. You know this? But at least, you know geologically, the whole land masses have been traveling. Why the Himalayas is the… whatever we are seeing, the Himalayan mountain ranges that Manasarovar, you will find seashells in Manasarovar because at some point it was at sea… it was at mean sea level. Today, it is at fifteen thousand six hundred feet. So what transported this lake bed? which was at sea level, to this place is the whole Indian subcontinent is crashing into the Central Asian plate. And this is why the Himalayan mountains are still continuing to grow. This is just piling up, it's just a crash. You seen cars piling up? Just like that, India is crashing. <laughs> Every year, India is losing about 1.23 centimeters or so. I'm not perfect on the number, it's somewhere in that range. Every year, India is losing about 1.23 centimeters or something because it's crashing into the Himalayan range and it's piling up. Because the magnetic pull of the North Pole is slowly pulling all the land masses upward. So such a huge magnetic pull where the continents are moving up, that kind of magnetic pull is constantly in enforcement across the globe. Suppose you had a little bit of anemia, if you went to your doctor, what does he prescribe for you? So it seems to be like it's an important ingredient of your blood, yes? So if iron is floating around in your blood, and if I put a very powerful magnet to the top of your head, it is possible that slowly blood may start moving in that direction, isn't it? Yes. Let's say if it's a very, very powerful magnet, it may start slowly pulling it up because there is elements of iron in the blood. Your body is designed like this, that your heart, which is the pumping station of the circulatory system, is three-fourths of the way up, not halfway down, because it is difficult to pump against gravity, easier to pump towards gravity, so it's placed here. Generally, all the pipes that are flowing down are larger ones. What is going up are much finer ones. As it goes up here, they're almost hair-like so minute that the circulatory system in your brain is such that if one extra drop enters there, hemorrhages will happen. People have strokes. So now you were like this, now you went like this. Already there is a little bit of imbalance in the system because heart was pumping, calculating the gravitational resistance. Now suddenly there's no gravitational resistance, you became like this and now you put your head towards the north. Slowly it gets pulled towards your brain. So one thing that could happen to you is you could have disturbed sleep. If you put your head to the north and sleep, you could have disturbed sleep, all kinds of dreams happening. If you are in your old age, it is possible that you can have a stroke or you could just die in your sleep. It's very much possible. Not that if you sleep one day you will fall dead. 
Every day, every day, every day, if your bed is arranged that way, that every day you are sleeping, put your head to the north, you are asking for trouble. Some kind of trouble, we do not know what kind of trouble you will get, that depends on the strength of your system. If it is weak, very weak, you may fall dead or you may get a stroke or you may just get disturbed sleep, you may just have nightmares or during the day you act funny. So many things will happen because excess circulation is happening in the brain when it should not be happening, simply because you put your head to the north. <coughs> so in case you go to South America, then you should not put your head to the south. Mm -hmm. ah. If you went to Australia, you should not put your head to the south. You should… you can put it to the north, out there. In the northern hemisphere, you do not put your head to the north. What if you live on the equator? Hmm? <laughs> if you live on the equator? You can spin like a needle. <laughs> East is best, northeast is okay, west is all right. South, if you must, north, no. <laughs> <laughs>